Hey guys, how's it going? This is Adrian Boysell with Adrian Graphics and Marketing and the founder of Instagraphics. Whether you're watching on the Adrian Graphics page or the Instagraphics page, I thank you for tuning in. We're going to do a quick tutorial today and I'm going to show you guys how to make a 4x6 flyer double-sided for your business. So if you haven't done that before, I'm going to show you how to knock it out real quick. I like to get this stuff done quickly and I'm not about recreating, recreating the wheel. So what we're going to do is just start off is we're going to make a 4x6. So the first step, what we need to do is go to new up in here. Once you open up Photoshop, you're actually going to click down here from pixels and you're going to hit inches, right? You're going to hit 6.25. This is very important. 6.25. You want a four by six, you need to add a quarter inch there. Then for the height, you're going to hit 4.25. Resolution, actually make sure you don't skip this. You're going to hit artboards and I'm going to show you why in a few minutes. Then you're going to hit resolution is 300. This is 300 dots per inch. This is the resolution. Very important to change that. We're not going to be worrying about CMYK and RGB if you're wondering about that. We're just going to leave it as is right now because this is just going to be going to a digital printer and it's probably going to get used online and some other things like that. So I wouldn't even worry about it. Let's just go ahead and get this thing rocking. So we're going to go ahead and hit create. All right, there we go. So as you see here, you have your layers, right? And I have this separated for a specific reason and I'll show you here in a few minutes. Once you click this, um, you can see you have artboard one. Now what I'm going to do is I need a second one. So I'm actually going to duplicate this. I'm going to, I highlighted it here. You can see I clicked on it. I'm going to hit, whoops, and I'm going to right click on it. Darn it. Right click and you're going to hit duplicate artboard. I'm going to call this artboard two and you can change it, make it artboard back or, you know, front, back, whatever you want to call that, you can change it. So anything, now we have these basic groups set up, right? So we're going to start with the first side, which I, I know exactly what he wants. I'm going to turn this one off for the moment. And anything we put in here is going to go onto this artboard. If you were to take a layer here and drag it over to artboard two, it would automatically drop it onto the other side. So it's another really cool feature that Adobe's released that can be really, really helpful. So I happen to know exactly what this client wants. Uh, the, the postcard that we're going to do, and this is just for an example, is for a notary. He's got an online booking calendar that we're going to use. So we're going to set up a flyer for. So we're going to do a really simple flyer, but I'm going to show you. This is a website called Unsplash. He sent me the link to it. We can use this photo. I checked it out. There's no copyright infringement issues with this, so we can totally use this. We're free to use it. So we go in here. You hit paste. See, as you can tell, we got this in the artboard, and it doesn't quite fit. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to use the transform tool is what it's called. So whether if you're on a PC, you're going to be hitting Control T. If you're on a Mac, it's Command T. Now you're going to see that come up. Adobe recently did some changes where, as you can see here, when I go to scale this thing up, big or small, I don't have to hit anything. I don't have to touch anything else other than clicking, the clicking and dragging in the corner. Back in the day, if I were to do this without actually holding down shift, and you can see, if I hit shift, see what happens? If you hold down shift, what happens there is all of a sudden now, you're able to freeform shape this thing, where it was the opposite way before. You have to hold down shift before for it to keep, to stay proportionate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow this up. And as you can see here, it's a little off, but that's okay, because we're just gonna cut off just a tiny part of the image. Boom, we don't need that corner anyway. There we go, so now we fit this thing in here. I have the website I know that he wants to use, and it's for his business called Notify. So it's N-O-T-A-F-Y-S.com. 99% sure, hopefully I got that right. <laughs> Here we go, this is Notify, as you can see, we're really just gonna take the information he has on his website. So what I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna make this really easy on myself. I'm gonna hit screenshot. I can do a custom screenshot. If you're on a Mac, you hit Shift-Command-4, and it's gonna let, let me select this right here, custom. I can actually select just this specific area. Boom, and it just screenshotted that. You can see it popped up on my left-hand corner. Now. You can see here online scheduling, join now, grow your business, integrations, SMS text alerts, no credit card, no contracts. That's a really great, great line, right? Good tips and advice, need more details, contact us, right? All that great stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that information. I'm going to take this. First, I'm going to actually create a new text. So you're going to hit T. It's going to give you the text tool. And you know what it looks like? For some reason, the menus are not in, here we go. See how it's in pixels? So what you'll do is you'll hit Control. Um, I don't know, it might be Alt on your computer if you're on a PC. I'm on a Mac, but you'll hit Control on a Mac. And then you'll switch this right over this bar and you'll hit inches. Now it's in inches, you can see here, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. 
Now what I need to do is I want to add in probably to the right hand side since there's this big open window. I wanted this to look really nice. So we're going to go here to about two inches, just right above this, and we're going to draw a box. And we're not going to go past the six, six inch mark right here because this is what's called the bleed area. Anything outside of this, outside of this area is probably going to get cut off. Adobe now has a really cool feature where it automatically drops in some text for you. You can change it. Probably not going to be the best color. What I'll do is I'll sample a color that's in there. I love that right there. I might find one of the other accent colors, but we'll just start with that. And since I copied the other text, I'm going to hit Command V. Bam, there it is. No credit card, no contracts. And he's using this for a conference. So I'm going to do no credit card, no contracts right there. I'm taking, it doesn't need to have two exclamation points like that. So we're going to put that there. And then I'm going to put up right here. In fact, this needs to be no credit card needed. Right? We're going to adjust this. We'll go down to the second box here. No contracts. And we're going to change this. Get rid of that. There we go. All right. Got rid of that. Okay. And we'll end up adjusting this here in a minute. I'm actually going to make this all caps. So I'm going to select this. Double select it so it highlights the whole thing. You're going to find your characters thing here. And you're going to hit this little button. See, it's called all caps. So you'll hit that. Boom. Okay. No credit card needed. The next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to grab his logo. So this one's pretty tiny, but I'm going to see what I can do with it. If it works, great. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to hit him up and ask him for a logo. Looks like that'll probably work. It doesn't need to be big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. Command T. We're going to scale this thing up a little bit. See how big I can go without making this thing look terrible. Yeah, see that doesn't look great. So we're going to go back down, hit Command Z or Control Z on your computer. Go back. I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. So we're going to go from where it's at now. I'm probably going to go to like 150. I think that's about as big as I'm comfortable going without this thing looking bad. Yeah, that looks clean. See, notifies. And then what we'll probably do is we'll put this down here at the bottom. Well, let me see here. We'll find a good spot for it. Yeah, I think we're going to have to keep it in this lighter section. We'll probably put this in here. This font obviously is really big, so we'll bring this down. I'll probably do an all caps on this. I don't like to do all caps most of the time, but... I think for this specific one, we just need it to be really simple and clean. There's not going to be very much text. If you're not using a lot of text, I think it's totally fine to do all caps. All right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to type in what he told me on the phone. And he didn't give me this in a, in a written document, which I encourage you to get from your clients. This is a personal friend of mine, so I didn't make him do all that. But normally I make them send me an email with all the details. But sign up for your free online online calendar that's what we're going to say and let's see if we go to his website online scheduling for notaries actually we know what we're just going to use that line because that it says it way better than the other line does we're going to copy that paste it in there online scheduling and then we're going to do make this smaller we're going to say sign up for free no credit card needed i think i'm going to take the no contracts out of there completely i'm going to minimize this we're going to make this here yeah contracts says it on the website so that's not really even necessary it's not a big selling point of the flyer so we're just going to go ahead and move these down boom notifies so we're going to actually move this to the top now we got more room you can see here it's it, it's all about making adjustments based on the information you got and when you have the information from the client and everything you're supposed to get it makes it a lot easier here so let me just do that perfect so we can do one of two things here i don't know how much this is really standing out in terms of being able to be very visible which i want this thing to be so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go around his head real quick here it doesn't need to be perfect I'm going to go around, I'm going to follow along this edge, right? I'm going to follow this edge right here. And I've been doing this a long time, just click, 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 click. So I'm able to do this pretty quickly. Sometimes it takes people a little bit longer. There's a magnetic lasso tool. Uh, a lot of people recommend using that. I, I've used it many times and I think it's great, but 
Um, you know, just do what feels most comfortable to you. And for me, uh, just utilizing this, because I can always go back and make adjustments if I need to. Um, I've, I've used the magnetic lasso tool, but I'm, I'm just not as big of a fan of it as, as a lot of people are. So I just stick with what I know. And I'm able to do this so quickly, as you can see here, that it's not a big deal for me. And see, I missed that little spot, but that's okay. Because when I bring this thing down, it's going to still look great. Watch this. So click there, and you hit it solid right and I did this with the with the uh, uh, polygon lasso tool so there's there's three different tools in here polygon magnetic and then just a standard free form one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the layers now whoops go back to layers I'm gonna select that background layer and what I'm doing here is you'll see I'm gonna right click and hit control at the same time I'm gonna hit copy and I just copied this whole section inside here now what I want to do is I'm gonna hit command or control U, and I'm gonna lighten it up See that? We'll go check, see the rest of it. See that little area that I missed? You can't even tell. Not a big deal. So online scheduling for notary. Sign up for free, no credit card needed. I think it might be a good idea to just separate these two. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna make this match the branding of the other stuff here. Whoops, get the right color there, color swap it. Um, and I just, you know, I'm honestly just looking at the same font. I don't know what font they're using here, but let me just check it out. Let's see. Inspect element. If you don't know how to do this, it's really cool. Um, it looks like, let me slide this up. Let's see. Font family should be in here somewhere. Font size, font align, margin, font normal, sans serif. So it's an avenir, which I believe I have. So let's go look at our fonts. We're going to go click this. And I might actually get rid of this all caps if I have the right font. Avenir. Yep, I have Avenir. So we'll do a nice big bold Avenir here. And then we're going to turn off that all caps on here. Let's see, you got to be adaptable, negative 25 on the size. So we're pushing the letters a little closer together. And then I really like that. I think that looks clean. I do want to make sure that the font stands out. So I'm probably going to use this color. There we go. Look at that made a big difference. And then you know what, now that I've seen it, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna take off the all caps. I really like it. I think it looks cleaner and matches his current branding. That's very, very important. And then we're gonna go Avenir and we'll find another version. Like, there we go, Avenir Book. That's a really good one right there. And I think we're centered, but I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit more. I don't think, oh, I needed to do that anyway. We're gonna go 14, make it nice and clean. Bring that down. In fact, I think I might even go to 12. And this technically should be not caps. Um, I'm just gonna do this. Sign up for free. No credit card needed. There we go. Boom. And then this should be dead center. Let's see. Yep, you get the little guides. Make sure that you have your guides on, your smart guides. Um, where are they at here? Are they move them around. Everything's been moving around here. Extras, show, there we go. You hit show, and then in here you can see smart guides. This is a really great tool. Um, I use it a lot, and there's even snap too, so you can have it snap to guide, snap to layers, snap to artboard bounds, all kinds of cool stuff that you can do. We'll cover that in other videos. So that's pretty much in a nutshell what we're gonna do there. If you remember, we took a screenshot of that button, so I'm gonna place that button here on there. Let's see, let's go to my desktop home. You can see it's right here. It might not be perfect, so we might need to adjust it. You can see it's pretty big and it had some of the other layers. So I'm actually going to hit my marquee tool, this one here, rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to select it right here. Oh, let's see here. We're going to actually go to the right layer. So you got to go to your layers. Let me move this, go back to my layers. We're going to make this a rastered layer. We're going to, sorry, right click, hit raster, raster layer. Now I can edit this. I'm clicked on here. You have your marquee open. Whoops. You have your marquee open still. I'm going to hit delete. Boom. There it goes. It looks like there may be even a little piece over here I can delete. So you do that. Hit delete. There it is. Now you can see I got a very clean little button. And you know what? I'm going to adjust this. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit command U. I'm going to brighten this up a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. If you do it too much, if you overdo it, it'll start to pixelate. But I want to try to match, no, 
Well, I kind of went the right direction. There we go. That's pretty close, right? Now we're going to hit Command T. Hit the height and width. We're going to lower this down so that it fits nicely. Uh, let's see here. Start your free trial. You know what? I'm torn on this because um, I should probably put the, the notifies.com inside of that. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, how am I going to use this? So I'm, what I'm going to do is we're going to bring this down right here. Probably bring that to like right around there. I think that looks pretty clean. Um, I'm gonna bring in my guide. So this is important for you to do so you know where you're gonna have a cutoff at. So the right thing to do is it's gonna be a 16th of an inch, but I always give myself more space, more more area for more wiggle room. So here's the quarter inch mark. Where it's actually gonna be cut is right around here, right? But you wanna give yourself a little bit of an edge. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring this over to right around here, perfect. And now if you see here, I'm going to have from that text to about right here, about space, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that over here. And all I need to do is line this up. There we go. So I can see right here. So where am I at? So you can look at your ruler up at the top. I'm right about just after the two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to here. Now I know that's where I need to go. I'm going to cut the rest of it off. Boom. There we go. So we did a little chop in there, but you see I got my guides in here. I'm going to do the same thing top and bottom, make sure we're clear. Go to a quarter inch. Perfect. Look at that. Right at the top. That's a good spot right there. Do the same thing over here. Let me just move this out of the way. We'll keep it over in the palette. Right at six inches. See that? It was perfect. And then same thing here, top and bottom. So we are almost perfectly centered right now. So this is how you want to set up your guides so you know you're falling within the range of where you need to. Now, like I said, I want to have the website address on here, so I'm going to not just have the logo, but it's important to have it on here multiple times. So we're going to go N-O-T-A-F-Y-S dot com. That's the domain that my client bought, my boy, Mike. And by the way, if you need an online scheduler, this is a killer scheduler. Oh, yeah, notifies dot com. There we go. Mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend doing business with Mike. He's a killer dude, one of my good friends, and uh, we're doing a lot of work together. So check this out. We're going to go in here. I don't think this is a... Uh, going to look quite right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this nice and big. See what this looks like. We're going to hit command T. I'm going to size this up. Boom. Look at that. I really want this baby to pop. If I really wanted to spend the time, I could put something in his screen. Um, and I think that's a little too big. I'm going to make it just a little bit less right there. Um, I could put that in his screen. There we go. And you notice here he has his logo in all caps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it consistent. Actually, yeah, if he didn't have the small s there, I would just add a .com to the end of it. But I don't think that .com is going to match. So what I'm going to need to do, I'm going to hit character. I'm going to make this all caps. Go across it right here. And then we're just going to make it smaller. So we're going to go to like 20 probably. Perfect. I think that looks nice. Okay. And then what I'll do is I think this is going to stand out. But... Uh, let's see here. We're going to go to layers and I'm going to make some little changes to it to make it really pop. So we're going to add a drop shadow. You're going to click the drop shadow. Now normal, you can leave that there if you want. I like to give it a little bit of an angle, kind of the direction of light where it's coming from. So you'll see here, there you go. We'll cut the, break, bring the distance down, we'll bring the size down. If you can see that there. See, here. see how that changes that. We'll go back to 80, make it a little bit more. So... Bring the size down a little more. There we go. You can kind of see that forming there. Boom. I just want to make it stand out a little bit more. And then what I'll probably do is I might either do a satin. Nope. It's going to make it too dark. I might do an inner shadow. No. Nope. I think what I'm going to do is an inner glow. So I'm going to use a bright, bright white. Perfect. And then we'll bring this thing down. Bring this thing down. There we go. I really want this thing to pop. So there we go. That's a clean little postcard. Um, I kind of want to put this all the way across. I'm kind of thinking I should have left this box. So what I'll do is I'll just swap this color. I really like this color behind it, behind the white. I think I'm going to bring this all the way out. Let's see what this looks like. If it doesn't look good, we'll just delete it. You know what? That looks freaking great. I like that. I personally like that. We'll see if he likes it, but 
If he doesn't, we can take it off, but I think that looks clean and it makes the whole sentence flow a lot better. So we're going to take the drop shadow off. Notifies.com. And what I can do, which is really cool, is I can actually throw the drop shadow now behind this. Yeah, see that? That's legit. That is freaking legit. I like that. So now we got the website logo or the company logo, online scheduling for notaries, sign up for free, no credit card needed, start your free trial, notifies.com. Super clean, super simple flyer. Um, you know, just to give it a little extra twist, you can do things like this where you hit Command T or Control T, you right click and you can hit Perspective, and I could shift this if I wanted to and do something like this. You give it a little angle to it. You know, I could even make it match up exactly with like the angle of his phone there if I just drag it in a little bit more. You know, if you really want to go, go all out, that's a good way to go about it. I can bring this in. I kind of like it. I think I'm going to keep it. Even though the font isn't a, isn't a fast moving font, I think this just adds some character and personality to it. So we're going to go ahead and keep that. Um, looking at the boldness of all the other fonts, I don't think that this font here is quite thick enough. So as much as I like the book, I think we need to go like oblique maybe or medium, probably medium. Yeah, see that, that definitely is more, stands out more, which is, it's important that, that this thing stands out. I'm going to lower this down. Whoops. Just lowering this down just a little bit right there. Sign up for free, no credit card needed. Whoops, keeps doing that to me. There we go. Perfect. Now all the spacing is right. And then now that's one side. So right, we got the one side. Okay, we're going to turn on the other side now. So the other side is for his notary business. He's actually trying to drive people to his notary business. So what we're going to do is we're going to add signature signings to this. So we're going to have signature signings.adriangraphics because this is a website that we're working on for him. You'll see here, it should pull up. We'll do that here and then we'll go to his current site, signaturesignings.com. All right, hope you guys are following along and please do not hesitate. If you're lost or stuck somewhere, you need some help, please reach out to me. I'm always available. This is the site we're working on right now. It's a WordPress website. We built out his directory. Uh, we got the, all the different end logos there, super cool. So we're gonna go ahead and add this. I like this background, but I don't think we're gonna use it. Uh, let's see here. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna hit to the artboard too. I'm gonna paste that logo in there. Look at that, that thing is clean. We're gonna scale it up, Command T again. Not too big. Bring this back down. I wanna do something like centered. I wanna really wanna grab people's attention to the logo, because it's such a great logo. I'm gonna hit Y. So what I just did here is I hit W, and it's, it brings out the magic wand tool. I'm selecting within the background of this specific layer. So I'm hitting this, right? I'm gonna hit that, hit delete. I just hit the delete button behind it. So now it's actually removed that background and it's gonna actually work a little bit better as far as centering it. It's saying that this is centered, but I think without the feather. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna kinda, kinda eyeball it a little bit. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Nationwide Mobile Notary Services. That's what the site says, right? Find a notary you want with the skills you need. Join our notary database. So we can do this, professional profile badge. Right, we're gonna just drop this in here. Actually, we gotta do a text box again. So if you remember, so we'll just go half, half an inch to half an inch. Should be centered. Mm, now we're gonna go a little bit more, right? There. Whoops, that's the center mark. You can see the little smart guide. There's your center mark. Hit Command V. There we go. Mobile Notary Services. I'm going to use the same blue, probably. I might use the gray. We're going to get. We're just going to keep the same font. Same kind of thing. We're going to go bigger. Nationwide Mobile Notary Services. What I'll probably do is I have access to his Facebook page. In terms of being in his groups, so we're going to go Notary, right? See here, don't mind my friend Amanda here. Notary, notary signers, here we go. This is his group that he created. This is a great little, little cover photo here. And we'll see, let's see what we got here. We got a bunch of people. So there's another version. Uh, Eric Thomas, that's funny. 
Uh, I was looking for a photo of Mike. Maybe I'll just go to his page. Mike Rudkowski. There we go. Here he is. Oh, there. No, nope, we're going to go to the other page because that's a professional photo. I think it's really great to use professional headshots on your flyer. That's a great photo. Look at that, man. Huge. All right, so I just copied it. I'm going to paste it in here. Look at that. What a difference that makes. That's an incredible photo. That looks great. So we're going to shrink this up. Shrink this up. You hit the Command T. Drop it down. Okay. I can make it smaller. Um, but I don't want to use this whole photo. So what I'm now I'm going to do is I'm going to use my shape tool. I click on here. You're going to go ellipse, right? And then we're going to hold down and click and drag. Let's see how it's doing this free form. If you hold down shift, it does kind of like I was telling you before the opposite thing. But we're going to probably make the photo about this big. I don't want to make it too big. Probably right around, let's see, right, right around there. Okay, now we have that side, that thing there. I'm showing you some really cool tricks here. We're going to grab that layer. I hit control or I think it might be alt on your computer or one of those things. I hit down control on a Mac. This layer is layer five. I'm going to drag it over the top of this, right? And you can see it's bigger than the circle and I want his head to fit in there. So I'm going to hit command T. I'm going to drop this thing down to right there. So 63%. Hit enter. Drop it up a little bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command and then the little icon next to the backslash uh, right above the Enter. So there's, there it goes I, I, O, P on your keyboard and then there's a left bracket, the right bracket. You're going to hit the right bracket, boom, it puts it in front of that layer and you can adjust it. It goes forward and backwards. Now I'm going to go back to that. Now this is the tricky part that, I, that I'm going to show you. So you're going to hold down your Alt or Option on a Mac. Um, it might be Control or something like that on a PC or alt one of the two and when you roll over that you see how I do that you're gonna see this little icon here you're gonna hold that down you're gonna hit click and click that and boom look what happened it clipped it right into there so now I'm gonna adjust the photo a little bit I'm gonna go up there we go whoops a little bit right there that's perfect put him on the left or put him on the right we'll see which looks better I think that looks good right there And then we'll put like, I know, I know him, he, he wants people to join his team. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put join our team. And then what we're going to do is he's got a bunch of really great services and features that he offers with his company. We're going to use a thinner font, a little medium here. Now watch. If you look at his website... You can see here, professional page, online scheduling, training resources, all these bullet points. Command C, you're going to copy it, right? And he's got these logos. We could put those in there too if we want. We might do that. And you're going to hit draw another text box and go like this. Probably the size of the photo. Boom, right there. And hit Command V. Paste all that in there. I'm going to select it all, highlight it. I'm going to go left justify. We're going to make the font smaller so everything fits. I want to go too small. 14 is about right. Now you can see here what happened to all of our bullet points. Oh no, what are we going to do? <laughs> I'm actually going to cop copy this professional profile. We're just going to make it simple and clean. Right? I'm, actually, I'm going to make this super clean. Uh, you know what? I think I'm all about having everything organized and clean. So we're going to do this the way people's eyes flow. We're going to copy this. I'm going to go up here, hit enter, drop it down. I'm going to paste that in there. So I'm just pasting it. I want everything to flow perfect. So we're gonna copy this thing, training and resources. We're gonna drop this in here. Certification course, training and resources. So now everything flows very nicely, right? Then you're gonna hit Alt. on. If you're on a Mac, you can do this pretty easy. If you're on a PC, it's like 0143, I think, Alt 0143. But if you're on a Mac, you're gonna hit Alt 8, and it's gonna give you a bullet point. Hit space, give it some space there, do the same thing, Alt 8, space. Alt 8 space, Alt 8 space, Alt 8 space, and Alt 8 space. Now I can go in here, select the bullet point, and change it to this color. And then I can copy Command C, go down to the next one, Command V, Command V, Command V, Command V, Command V. Now I've got all those bullet points matching. I think that looks super clean. I'm all about having everything look super clean and organized. 
and move over the join our team. I think that can actually go down a little bit on the font for that. Double click it, go to like 18. Yeah, see, I think that fits perfect. We're gonna drag this right here, drag this over here. I'm gonna left justify it. I want this to be freaking perfect. There we go. Join our team. And then we're gonna, just gonna put his website address on here. We're gonna copy this layer because I wanna use the same thickness. SignatureSignings.com. There we go. So I just took you through my whole process. You'll see here once I move this up, I'm gonna have a little bit more room here. Move that there. We got the guides. Let's see if we can pull up the guides. I'll have to add my own guides, see if they worked. Yeah, I'll have to add my own guides to this one. So we got quarter inch there, quarter inch there, right at the edge. So we're going to move his photo up. You can select both layers. You're going to hold down shift to select multiple layers. You're going to hit V to go back to your main cursor. Shift this up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, I like to make things very uniform. So that's, I went up 10, 10 places right there. Hit the join our team, online scheduling. I'm holding down shift to select them both. Now I'm continuing to hold shift. I'm gonna arrow up one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, that's about right. Maybe five, I think that's better. You got signatureSignings.com, right? Uh, join our team, visit signature signings.com and signings is gray on the other one here and thin so i want to keep some of that branding there i'm not going to go too thin but we're going to go like roman and then i'm going to select if you blow this up hit command plus you can blow this thing up i'm going to use the same color as we use in signings there we go nice light gray boom signature signings.com that's it super clean super basic flyer you don't need to overdo it. I could put some fancy stuff in the background just to show you an example. If we were to go to his other site, I could probably inspect this background. Let's see here if it comes up. Let's see if you can look for a JPEG image if it shows up. So what I'm going to do is this inspect element. We're going to go in here. I don't see a JPEG. Let's see here because I know it's going to be a JPEG. I could probably have an inner container doesn't look like it. Padding, logo, nav, column, search box. Yeah, see, I'm not seeing the image file. I won't see the image file anywhere. Div class, wrapper. You gotta look slowly because it's easy to miss. Custom JavaScript background. Sometimes you can see it underlined like this. Yeah, see, I'm not able to find. It could, maybe it's in here. I don't think so. No. Nope. Well, what I can do is try this. Inspect. No, no, no. Sorry. Inspect. Let me go back. Close this out. You can go view page source. If you can't find it that way, I'll find it the other way. So let's see here. I'm going to hit Command F and hit JPEG. Find everything that's got a JPEG logo. There's eight of them. Huh. He somehow got it embedded where you can't... Oh, maybe this is trained. Badges. Those are the badges. And then a trained attachment. Let's see here. Let's go up further. Money back, the money back guarantee thing. Let's go up further. Man, it dropped us all the way down to the bottom. Notary database. I'm just searching through this code. This can be kind of a pain. This is why it's good to get your clients to send you all the information up front. So you're not trying to waste time hunting stuff down. This is really inefficient. Here, SSI logo, logo. Let's see, some of them are linked. Look at all this code. No wonder. Man. Uh, WordPress background cropped feather 192 is the feather we need that photo man I mean I can just go without it I think we might end up having to because I don't see that image I see cache content plugins you can tell he's got a WordPress website that's what this WP content is but yeah I'm not seeing that photo in here um, 
typically you'd see it in images shouldn't be that hard to find but feather 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 see yeah I'm just not seeing it so um, I'm almost at the very top of this this deal here and I just don't have time to, to scan through this so we're just gonna keep it simple you know I, I could try to use this logo maybe uh, there's pins on it so we can search it on Google maybe google.com map with pins and if it's free image just like the other one and it comes up here we can use it so let's see that's pretty similar we'll see if we can even use that image I'm not sure we're gonna have to check and what we can do is actually if you haven't used this oh look at that there was a copyright thing there image may be subject to copyright we're gonna find out, oh, I know what that is already. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go back up to the top of Google, we're gonna hit settings, search settings. Uh, no, I'm sorry, let's go back. Gonna hit, is it tools? Tools, there we go, usage rights. Labeled for reuse with modification, right? Here we go. So I'm going to use something similar. I'm going to copy this image. This one says you're able to use it as long as you make modifications to it. I'm going to paste that in the background. Command T. Now you're probably going, man, that doesn't really look good in the background. Watch what I'm going to do. We don't need the whole thing. And I don't want to make it too big anyway because it's going to get blurry. But we're going to drag this up. Right? I want to use this very, very, very lightly. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this all the way to the background in the artboard. Boom, there we go. See it's behind there all now. We're gonna we're gonna change the blending mode to luminosity. So there's gonna be no color in it, and then we're gonna drop this down probably to like 15 percent. No, that's 25. We're gonna go to 15. Super light. You can kind of see it. Maybe we'll go 18. I want to barely be able to have that scene in there, and I, I almost think we don't need it. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually add a little bit of white in here behind the text. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this tool right here, where's it at, my brush tool. There we go, we're gonna take the brush tool and I'm gonna make this bigger. Whoop, wrong color. Flip this in here, boom. And then I'm gonna stretch it. So I'm gonna hold shift down, I'm gonna stretch that across. Stretch that across, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more. Whoops, like this. And I'm gonna drag this right behind it and I'm actually gonna double it. So you're gonna hit Command J, 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 Right, I'm gonna select all those layers. I'm gonna hit Command E, and that's gonna select and make them all one solid. So we're just gonna put this right here. I want this to be really readable. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Boom. So you can see here, it's just a faint brush image with, I'll show you what that brush image looked like. If you use the brush tool, you know, I went about 600 and the hardest, hardness needs to be all the way down so it's got really soft edges and it blends in. So now I could probably even make this a little bit darker, like 20%, and still you'd be able to see everything. The last piece that I want to do here, and you can see how nice these flyers look now, is I want to double click on the ellipse layer. I'm going to hit a stroke. I'm going to change this from 25 to about 15. We're going to change this from color to gradient. We're going to change this gradient from this to probably this. There we go. You can see it's got a nice little stroke on it now. Uh, one of the other things you'll want to do is you want to move it to the outside so it doesn't take away from the image. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. We're probably going to go to 8. Yeah, nice and thin. And then the cool thing to give this a little more pop, you're going to hit a drop shadow. And then I'm going to adjust this drop shadow. I'm going to bring it out a little bit more, give it a little bit more depth. I'm going to change this. I'm going to, I'm going to keep the spread where it's at. 30 will be good. Um, we'll go 10 on here. And then we're going to drink, bring down the opacity. So watch. Boom. About 20%. That's pretty good. It just adds a little bit of depth, makes it pop out. So there we go. Now you got a 4x6 flyer, double sided front and back, going straight to the website. Um, you know what I could do? This would probably look good. No, I'm going to keep it just the way it is. I think it looks clean. Don't we, need, we don't need to overdo it. We want to brand his face. We want to brand his name. We want to brand the website. Don't put too many forms of contact on there. You're going to overdo it. He doesn't need more than this. So we're going to keep it clean and simple today. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, you want to make sure, oh, just a side note, you want to make sure that if you're taking your time on doing this for yourself, that you label 
uh, your artboards. So this would be like back, double click, whoops, back. This would be front, right? It's just important to do. And then on top of that, I will sometimes label the layers and then you can group layers. So as you start to do bigger projects with more layers and you're doing more custom stuff, you want to start doing that. So this was like in the background, this was the light windshield. If you want to be really organized, which actually helps long term, this is the background image, right? It just helps overall. And then you can color code them. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. So now the last piece that you're probably wondering is, okay, how do I get this to be print ready? Well, that's pretty simple. You're going to go to File, you're going to hit uh, Export, Artboards to Files. That's why we created Artboards. You're going to hit Artboards to Files. I'm going to find a destination, so I'm going to go to his folder. He's got a folder. We're going to go Signature Signings right there. I'm going to create a new folder, Flyers. I'll even create 4x6. There you go. You're going to hit Open. Right now, you're gonna have a call a, a prefix. So we're gonna just gonna call this uh, four by six. This is a prefix. We'll add notifies and, and signature signing. So SS artboard content only, not the overlapping areas because anything that's overlapping will show up in your art. You don't want that. JPEG. Obviously, you're gonna go as qu high quality as you can, and then you're gonna hit run. Done. See, file was successful. So now we're going to go over to the folder. We're going to go clients. We're going to find signature signings. We're going to go to the flyers folder. You're going to go four by six. Oh, what happened to the other side? I must have not selected something. Let's go back. It's okay. Try it again. File export. Artboards for files. What happened? Artboards for files include. Maybe I was only selected. Ah, you gotta select them both. Watch this now. File, export. See, they're always making changes to this thing. Artboards to files. Go back to the same folder. Let's do that, four by six. Open, we're gonna call this. We'll just leave it blank. You can leave it blank if you want. I'm gonna hit run. It should have done both now. Let's go double check. Ha ha, see that? And we're gonna get rid of this other one front and back, boom. Two print ready, clean, four by six flyer, front and back, ready to go. Doesn't need to be complicated, this does not look bad, it looks like it was professionally done. As far as I'm concerned, since I did it, it is professionally done. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions, please do not f hesitate to reach out to me. I'm very easy to reach. You can go to my website, adriangraphics.com, reach out to me there. Um, or you can give me a call at my office. I'd be happy to help you there. And definitely like and subscribe this video. The more likes and subs subscriptions I get, the more of these videos I'm going to be excited to do. And I want to keep creating more content. So thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Hope you all have a blessed day. And as always, keep looking up. Oh, <laughs>